Alright, so hello and welcome back to another episode of Hi Mario World. In this episode, we will be going through this level here, which... Can I exit this from the sides? Yes, I can. It's kind of not important to know, but... Figured I'd do it anyway. Oh, no, no, no. 100 seconds. Can you get through? Do not get lost. The sun's power is being sucked. The only source of light left here is your running speed. Mario just lost the game. Well, I'm going to lose the other game if I don't get a hurry on already. Yeah, okay, this is going to be... And, and yes, I suppose somebody's going... If anyone's here from Insane Difficulty, they're probably going to make fun of the fact that I'm messing this up so bad when I usually play a blindfolded challenge in Final Fantasy VI, but what the hey. And... The problem here, here is that I haven't seen any of this before, so... Well, that was a complete detour and waste of time. How much time does this actually give me? Five? That's not worth it. I immediately go for another one. Yeah, I can stay alive just a little bit longer. I wasted all that, uh, all my huge heaping helpings of time that I had earlier, and then managed to preserve the last like 15 set Mario seconds for like half that time. Well, that was fun. Let's take another shot at it. <laughs> this time I won't waste any time losing the game. Almost forgot where I was actually supposed to go there. I can get that one, this one, they're worth my time. The other one probably isn't, though. Problem is, all these areas that are so cramped together that it's impossible to see. I bet one of these message boxes says something useful, and I'm just not. Well, actually, never mind. There's only. They can only put in two message blocks at a time, so... There we go. Yes, I can make it through there, I just... Oh, wow, uh, that was the exit. Well, that's good. I only needed about half the time that time, although I did get some clocks, so maybe a little bit more. Maybe that blindfolded challenge is coming in handy? I don't know. <laughs> Now on to Wendy Koopa. Make my save state? Oh wait, Wendy, yeah, the... The big boss, is it? Could it be the end? That would make for a short episode, possibly, but... Hello, nothing. As soon as you enter the door, there's no time to lose. The stones are rising and sinking. Oh, more timed levels? I wonder, can I go up there? Well, I can die. That's not very helpful. Curiosity killed the cat, I suppose. And so we enter the door. And so we jump in the lava. Okay, so I'm not safe there. I'm probably safe in the next one, maybe, I don't know. Just figured I'd get my bearings straight. Even though I knew I was probably going to die. I'll probably not die in this one, but... Okay, I did die in that one. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Ah, dang it. 
stupid ceiling. When you couldn't have forked over the little bit of extra dough for higher ceiling. Please your guests a little bit. Thank goodness I'm small Mario for this. At least. This is still annoyingly difficult to time. Oh, it appears I made it to the end. Let's just keep mashing the button. Yeah. Crud, that's gonna involve some luck. I can't mash that quickly. It appears I'm actually lifting off there. If I'm off the ground, I'm not going to be able to enter the door. Hmm. I'm probably going to have to enter the door while it's rising rather than waiting for it to fall and then pressing the up button at the right moment. Crud, I don't see how to do that. I'm pretty sure it is possible to make that, but it requires quite a bit of timing. There, got it. Got in. Alright. So hopefully I won't mess it up now. Most of the levels in this game have been reasonably short, so hopefully this one will follow the, the pattern. I mean, it is at least presumably the final, le final level, so I wouldn't really expect anything or not expect anything from this level. This word doesn't seem too bad. Don't want to immediately mess it up after saying that. <laughs> Thankfully, cautionary measurements were enough there. Just want to go slowly down here. There's a lot of lag from those spike balls, which might help out a little bit as too. Or it could hurt me, you never know. Almost didn't see that one coming. Oh wow, you... Yeah. So how am I going to do this? Got to make a decision about which way I want to go on this. There we go. That, that seemed to work. It looked like there was another path. 
pattern, which could have also uh, been useful, but that appeared to be more effective. Well, that's a dead end. More crazy spike ball stunts. That one can get me, but... Press down just in time there. This maze is kind of long. Dang it. I probably could stay up at the corner up there. That's what I'll have to do next time. I was gonna slow down there, but that's not the right move. Crud. At least I can make a recovery, but it requires extra tricky jumps. <laughs> this slow like last time, which is unfortunate because it's a really long room. Alright, be careful going down these long things because sometimes there can be a spike ball right there to eat me. That would be bad. Guess I should be careful going up long things too. Alright, coming up is the sketchy bit, the part where that I a while to figure out. Parts like that are worrisome. I always have like kind of a death grip on the Y button, even when I'm swimming, when it's kind of useless. The only time I need to have be holding the Y button while swimming is if I'm holding a shell, which I'm clearly not doing here. There's a long tunnel along the bottom, I wonder if that's relevant. Alright, here's the corner that I've got to stay in when I go. No, that's the wrong corner. Dang it. I probably could stay up at the corner up there. That's what I'll have to do next time. There's the corner. Alright. Yeesh. Okay, that was close. That was also close. Just go down, Mario. Go down. Lot of, lots of moving parts to keep track of. Ugh. Dang it, I think the lag messed me up there. I went too far to the left. Hey, I made a successful recovery there. And don't jump the gun like I almost did the other two times. And almost did this time. Uh, I messed up my timing for that part and made it a lot harder than it was the first time I went through. Or was that the part where I almost died a whole bunch last time? I don't remember. Alright, wait for this one to go, and then rush it. There we go, that, that went a little smoother than last time. Alright, 
So this time I wait here. And this time I almost die again to that guy. Slip in this thing. Alright, I wonder if there's a nice corner I can wait in here too. Gonna have to keep my eye out. Uh, up here. Yeah, that's not very good. Wow, just barely at the top of the door there. This time I didn't feel the urge to run ahead and get myself killed, so I guess that's a good thing. Oh, which that was when I was supposed to go after all. Whatever. I can play it slow, probably. I mean, this might be one of those times where he's gonna put a time crunch on the level, but the time didn't seem very precisely laid out, so it just seemed to be like, okay, it's about 400. That seems about good. Yeah, that part always scares me. I know you're coming this time, so you're not gonna trip me up quite as easily. Alright, when you go, I'll run for it. There we go. Got it. And by run, I clearly meant swim, because I'm not running. Don't want to let that guy have an easy, uh... Oh, what was with the screen there? Please don't start scrolling. That would be mean. So I appear to be down this passageway at the bottom of the level that I noticed earlier and was wondering if it would get any use. I really get the strangest feeling there's going to be some sort of trick here. I feel like I'm going to die. To something completely unexpected. It's weird seeing the spike balls uh, rotating full speed after... Yes, good, a halfway point. Hey, the block's still there. I thought it usually disappeared. Whatever, I don't care. That's probably the end of this video anyway. I'll maybe beat the game next time? I don't know. It's amazing how much recording and editing these videos slows me down. <laughs> it's taken me about as many months to beat this thing as it would normally take me in days, so... See you next time.